Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now in this video, I will show you how to create contracts within Go High Level. Now, if you are new to Go High Level or if you wanna try Go High Level for yourself, first link in the description, you have a free trial for Go High Level. So you can try it out and then later on, if you want, uh, you can go and you can purchase a full Go High Level suite. Now, obviously today, what we're showing you is how to create contracts in go high level now the first thing is you will need to go and you will need to switch to one of your uh, sub accounts now sub account is basically an account that we'll be using for your clients now from here what you will need to do is you will need to go to this sub account right here this is just an example obviously and as you can see here we have a lot of different things we have automation as you can see you have workflows here uh, then what we have is sites right here as well and we have a lot of different things now as you can see when we go to sites we have forms here and we have builder here so here what we can actually do is we can add a form because we're actually creating a contract so we need to create a contract now I will show you how to create a contract I will also show you how you can go and add a site or a contract to the site so that your client can go through that contract now, obviously, uh, you know, this is the form we can call this, um, we can call this to go to style and options. I forgot that you cannot change it here. And this can be just contract, contract uh, on submit, open URL. And uh, so when someone submits a contract, uh, well, where will that URL go to? You will need to decide that for yourself. Uh, obviously, you can, it can go to Google, it can go to anywhere, right? Uh, you can also add a Facebook pixel ID here, which is great. It's ideal if you want to add Facebook pixel, uh, just so you can track the events. This is recommended if you're using this for advertising purposes. And then Facebook pixel events, uh, you can do this a lot right here. As you can see, add payments info, add to cart, add to wish list, stuff like that. On for submission, uh, submit application, subscribe, stuff like that as well. Uh, you can also have sticky contact right here. This is this will autofill contact contact uh, information previously entered, so uh, you don't have to enter it twice. This, this is good if you want to go and if you want to basically do that. So that's for the options for the styles. You can change the style, change the background. For example, let's make it black. Border we can make border. Uh, for example, border can be blue, right? Uh, it can be dotted. It can be line like this. For example, let's, let's do it like this. Maybe this, this looks good. Okay, then go to fields. So let's just jump into fields. So first name, we need a first name. We need a last name. Uh, then we need a phone, for example. Uh, we need an email. And then we can also do organization, state, stuff like that. We can do that. We can do country as well. Um, so you can add as many as you want here. Obviously, uh, this completely is up to you because again depends which uh, you know which information you want to capture for example we want to capture first name last name phone and then we want to capture email and organization state is not so um, is not so really uh, important so we'll just keep that out of the way now let's click here and as you can see you can also add a lot of different things we will add a button, which is a button down below, which will be a checkout button or not a checkout, but submit button. Now, as you can see here where it says button submit and let's make this here. Let's make this here. Uh, also, we need to make this button in the middle. So if we go here to to the button again, let's just click on the button. Uh, we actually have corner radius. We can add this if we want as well. Border border type background okay that's good padding bottom left size we can we can make this a little bit bigger and then what we can do is we can maybe increase this as well so obviously you can add this button to do a lot of different things you know this right here um then what we can do is full width this is what i want this is how it looks really awesome so after we have submit uh we actually need to add a um basically we actually need to add custom fields um, now a custom field can be signature. I'm not sure if they have signature here. So I'll need to go to standard and here we need to go and we need to add a signature. So 
let's just go to custom field, add a custom field here. And as you can see here, what we can add is a signature. This is how it's going to look like. Here, you can add a lot of different custom fields. You can add text input, um, you know, single line, multi-line text box lists, uh, values, number phone, stuff like that, but we want signatures. So we can also add file upload if you're onboarding a client and if you want the client to submit uh, a file, you can do that as well. And this is going to be the file upload here. So let's just hit signature next. And as you can see here, we need to just add a, a, you know, a name, field name is going to be signature. Uh, this is going to be contact and then group is going to be um, general info. It can be contact as well. Additional preferences, we can add here unique key if we want, stuff like that. Let's just hit save here. And as you can see right now, we have signature right here. So we can right now go and we can drag and drop this right here. This is the signature. So here our clients will be able to go and they will be able to write down uh, a signature and this will be basically their information. Why signature? Because if they write their name, their last name, their phone, if they're interested in a service, let's say they're uh, purchasing Facebook ads, uh, then they can go here and they can add a signature and it's official. So with that, it's official and then they can submit a, a form right here. Now here you can obviously same form, you can also integrate form. If you want to integrate form, uh, you can integrate it by basically copying embed code. So if you maybe want to go on WordPress or any other page, you can do this by just going here and copying embed code. So just copy embed code and then you'll be able to go open form link as well. This is how the link is going to look like on the website. As you can see, this is the, the signature. Uh, it's really, really awesome as you can see. Uh, so, and it looks really good and it is really clean. So you can obviously add a pop-up, polite slide in. If you go here, uh, again, you can see the, the, the signature. Uh, you can copy embed code again and just add this wherever you want. So just hit done uh, and let's just go and let's save this form after this is, okay, form is saved. Uh, now what we can do is we can obviously add styles if we want, again, we can change this to this style. We can add, uh, for example, border. Okay, we, we have a border here. We can make it a little bit thicker. Corner radius, we can make it like this. Um, shadow, we can make it a little bit like this. We can make it horizontal if we want the shadow. If we don't want the shadow, we don't want the shadow. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it looks good. So save form. After you save this form, what we will need to do is we'll need to go to sites. Right here, we have funnels and we have websites. So you can add a new website. Uh, obviously you can go to the template library. Here you have a lot of different websites that you can add. Obviously you can choose how you want. We have all categories as well. Uh, and you can add the website you want and then you can add a form to that website. But since we don't want to do that, we want to go to funnels, new funnel. And then here we go to template library and here we can actually embed that form into a funnel. So I already showed you how to create contracts in uh, go high level. Now I can show you how to create a funnel. Now basically here we're just going to go and we're just going to uh, select one of these uh, funnel templates right here. Obviously we can go and we can select, let's select this one, select here and we can hit continue. After it loads up, obviously we can get this template. By getting this template, I agree, okay. Get this template here. And now what we can do is we can basically go and uh, we can edit that template. So as you can see right here, we can edit this template. I already have a template right here. So we can go here and edit that template. And as you can see here, we have a lot of different things. We can just go edit page. And uh, from your edit page, you will it will need a little bit of loading in you know, in order to go here. Now, once we have this, let's say we want to add here a, um, you know, something, a form. So we can add a form here, select the form, contract, and right now we have our form right here. Now, obviously you can customize this by adding, uh, you know, more to that form, uh, you know, obviously, but this is basically the, in a nutshell, the, uh, you know, the starter on how to go and how to create a form within the site. So if you have any questions around this or comments, you can comment down below. And obviously if you want uh, more videos on Go High Level, you can check that out on our channel as well. Um, and uh, yeah, also if you want a free trial on Go High Level, comment down below 
and click the first link in the description and you will see the link you can go and you can try go high level for yourself for free for 14 to 15 days so if you have any questions again comment down below subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching